Hello again, and thanks very much for joining us on here at Business Stories. We're tracking others are. I'm Michael Nath. Uh, fresh licenses and permits have been issued to 37 companies to produce a total of 762.3 megawatts of electricity to boost the power supply across the country. Data obtained from the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission showed. An analysis of the Commission's latest fourth quarter 2021 report on Sunday also indicated that the metering of power users dropped by 71.86% when compared to the number of those who were metered by power distribution companies in the preceding quarter. In the new report, the NERC said the Commission approved the issuance of four new generation licenses with a total of nameplates a capacity of 508.5 megawatts and the renewal of two existing licenses in 2021 fourth quarter. He said the 46 metering service providers, consisting of 17 installers, 15 manufacturers, 2 vendors, and 12 importers, were also approved by the Commission in 2021 fourth quarter. On metering, it said that the huge metering gap for end use customers was still a key challenge in the industry. As Nigerians await the outcome of the 287th meeting of the Central Bank's Monetary Policy Committee, which begins today, an expert has made some predictions based on current economic realities in the country. Economic expert Steve Okafo projected that the CBN will not increase the MPR any further, seeing that the past increment hasn't yielded expected results. Okafo, who said this earlier in the day on Ibrand TV's Business Breakfast show, added that any increase will cause more hardship for citizens. The hike and the intent is the, the rate, the multiple policy rate, so far have not yielded the required results. Okay? We were told that majorly they will, they will increase the rate is to enable uh, the monetary authorities to fight the inflation. And instead of inflation and we have seen astronomical increase in over, over time. Right. So, and, um, yeah, if you look at it, the, uh, I don't expect, I don't actually expect the CPN to increase any rate. Okay? I don't expect the SEC to increase any rate. Okay? Mm. One, we have to be careful of the uh, continuous increase in rate and then the, um, the, the hardship is going to come from the market. You understand? However, I also don't expect a decrease in the rate. I'm not expecting a decrease. I expect um, the, the committee to actually hold the parameters of that. Okay, because um, why I'm not expecting any decrease in the rate. If you check the world over, really, all over the all over the world, and then um, you know we have to be careful. Uh, the, the, the committee also look at the angle of uh, capital flight from Nigeria. Mm. Now, the World Bank has said that Nigeria's economic outlook is uncertain and its ability to attract domestic and foreign investments is also crashing. It also noted that the condition of welfare in Nigeria was worsening despite the economic recovery from the recession. The Washington-based bank said this in its draft report for state action on business enabling reforms which is available on its website. Uh, the bank explained that although Nigeria's econo economy in 2021-22 recovered from the recession induced by the COVID-19 pandemic and lower oil prices, growing by 3.6% in 2021 with an expected growth of 3.2% in 2022, welfare has continued to deteriorate. The report noted that the country's economic outlook remains uncertain that are uh, threatened by many issues, including the impact of the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine on the global economy, lower than expected oil production due to the technical inefficiencies, heightened insecurity, higher uncertainty on policy direction arising from the upcoming February 2023 general elections, and worsening fiscal risks related to the PMS subsidy deductions. Nigerians' foreign exchange position remained tenuous at the weekend, with a continuing decline in the national currency and the country's forex reserves. 
The national forex reserves have lost about $430 million in successive declines in the past three weeks, dropping to $38.49 billion. Naira depreciated across the official and parallel markets as the Central Bank of Nigeria struggled to sustain its managed forex rate system. At the official investors and exporters window, the Naira depreciated to $436.33 per dollar uh, per dollar at the weekend uh, compared with uh, 436.25 naira per dollar recorded in the previous week at the parallel market the naira depreciated by 0.4 percent to 712.00 naira per dollar this implies a gap of 275.75 naira or 63.21 percent between the official rate and the parallel market Amidst dwindling global oil prices and national incomes, Nigeria's forex reserves have been on the downtrend the past three weeks to close at $38.49 billion as of September 22. The Securities and Exchange Commission has said that the passage of the Investments on Securities Bill 2022 would aid the functioning of the capital market as well as facilitate the ongoing economic diversification in the country. Director General of Securities and Exchange Commission, Lamido Yuguda, said that the passage and enactment of the bill will be a pivotal step in revamping the economy and therefore in joint and appeals for the buy-in of key stakeholders to make this aspiration a reality. Speaking on some highlights of the major innovations and change changes in the bill, Yuguda disclosed that the bill expands the categories of issuers as a key step towards the introduction of innovations and offerings, such as crowdfunding, as well as the facilitation of commercial and investment business activities, subject to the approval of the Commission and other controls stipulated in the bill. Importantly, the bill introduces an express prohibition of Ponzi uh, pyramid schemes as well as other illegal investment schemes. The bill also prescribes a jail term of not less than 10 years for promoters of such schemes. Still to come, South African rand weakens in early trade. Stocks slide. Details of this and more after this break. Stay with us.